Welcome back, okay fans. This is Shadow Tree CC3 with another exhibition match. This is going to be El Torero versus the Sponge. So the high LO match of the day. Capping off today with this match on Titan Duel. It's gonna be El Torero starting out with Light Vehicle Factory, the northwest side of the map. While the sponge starts out with what are you gonna be doing heavy tanks? There we go. Heavy tanks on the southeast side of the map. So pretty typical matchup on this particular map. It's a bit easier at the start for the Life Equal Factory player because their stuff is cheaper. However, with judicious use of Panthers and Kodachis, Kodachis especially, if you use them well, then they're going to be deal able to deal a ton of damage. If you don't use them well, that's a lot of money wasted. And Dar's coming in here for El Torero. He is going to be going for more of an aggressive opening. He's not going for Slasher opening, going for Scorchers instead, which is typical. And the Sponge is... Actually, it's typical for him too. The Sponge... He does have his commander set up. Beam laser to start out with. Gonna be able to get rid of the dart, no problem. The follow-up scorchers might be a bit of an issue, but we will see. It's... Well, actually, he's, not gonna, he's gonna take a while to build up. El Torero is not prioritizing this. He is prioritizing getting his stuff built up. He's getting all of his economy built up. He does have a slightly weaker economy, just to start off with. The sponge does... He did build more power plants to start with. I should also point out, one thing to point out, that Energy Cell no longer exists. 0k dropped Energy Cell about a week ago. So, there is no more... Actually, two weeks ago. So there's no more Energy Cell. Maybe maybe longer, actually, come to think of it. But yeah, E-Cell does not exist, so it's all going to be power plants. All the energy income is power plants. Now, Skodachi can't easily attack. This area is kind of too well defended, thanks to the fact that the commander's right there. And... The Defender just reloaded. It's finished up reloading, so it is going to be able to attack the Kodachi once again. Now, the Kodachi can, of course, tank the Defender shots. The Scorch is going to be a bit of a problem. The Kodachi does... Well, it deals... Well, 3 damage per second on the Flame Bomb. Not quite sure how, long, how much damage is dealt total. But anyway, going to be able to get... Probably get rid of the Scorcher. I think enough damage is dealt to get... Enough damage is dealt to get rid of a Mex. So I think enough will be able to get rid of a Scorcher too. But El Torero is going to repair that. Got rid of the Kodachi. That is a big deal. The Sponge just lost his opening Kodachi. He has some Panthers coming in. The Panthers are going to be useful, but still, this is going to be tough. He has to be defensive. He does have a couple Lotuses. His his center is wide open. His flanks are covered a bit with Lotuses, but even then, the Scorchers, three or four Scorchers would get rid of a Lotus without issue. So I don't see that being a big deterrent, in all honesty. I think the Sponge is going to have to try harder on that one. However, he is going to be able to get through with this Panther. This Panther, against one Scorcher, is going to come down to Micro, but it looks like El Toro is retreating, and that's what he needs to do. Get out of there, regroup, and the Sponge, is he going to go for this attack? I think he will. I think he doesn't even know. Checking the Sponge's vision. Yeah, he's only got line of sight. He does see... He sees the Scorcher, sees the Lotus, gets out of Lotus range. Now he knows where he can go. And that is going to be not effective. And it's good scout. It is a good scout. That is worth pointing out. The Sponge knows more or less what El Torero is up to, but El Torero... <sighs> four Scorchers. Getting a fifth Scorcher. Getting a lot of Scorchers. Getting an additional three and probably going to go into repeat queue. While Panthers are forthcoming, and once he gets a good mass of Panthers, he's got to be careful. They can't be too near each other, because if one dies, then they explode and EMP and then stun each other out. But good mix of Panthers and Kodachis, if they're spaced out enough, that could work. But yeah, between Panthers and Scorchers is basically down to Micro. That's how they've been balanced around, and it seems to have worked out fairly well. So these Scorchers going around the southwest side of the map and finding that the Sponge has not expanded. The Sponge actually expanding primarily over in his base, not really expanding out. Well, El Torero is taking the entire north side, so El Torero is in a better spot, I think, for overall economy control, especially since he can easily defend what he has right now. And pushing out from there won't be too difficult. There goes what I mean. These Scorchers are going to take care of that that particular Lotus. Losing one of their number in the process. Going to be able to get rid of the Welder as well. Down goes that Welder, and yeah, it's gone. Metal Extractor goes soon after. Panthers are coming back to try to help out to defend against this, but it's not going to help too much. Two Panthers coming in here. I mean, it's going to help eventually. It's going to get rid of the Scorchers. One of them is going to die right away. Instant kill. And the others, well, they got away with it. Basically. These Scorchers are just going back home scot-free. Not really much to say to that. Although it looks like one of them will be caught, actually. 
One of them looks like it's about to get caught out. The Panther able to get it, stuns it, kills it. No, not quite. Oh, never mind. There it goes. It's dead. Totally dead. And the sponge going to be able to... He's expanding a bit to the north, but he's running right into El Torero's expansion as well. And the sponge is aware of this. He does have radar over that. And at the same time, El Torero does have radar over the vast majority of the map. Pretty much everything but the sponge's base. El Torero is really ahead in terms of the information game. A couple levelers up as well, and these Panthers are not going to be well suited to deal with the levelers. And at this point, Defender to get rid of this one metal extractor. The sponge is now fully aware of what El Torero is up to, and if he if he wasn't already, he probably was. And El Torero has actually... Has he upgraded his commander yet? He has. His commander is now Light Particle Beam Auto Repair. Well, the sponge's commander we saw before was... I think, oh yeah, just pure beam laser. Nothing too special there. The levelers, however, are getting out of position. This, a nice flank here. If the sponge flanks this nicely, that'll actually work out pretty well. The levelers can get rid of the panthers, no problem. The panthers, he's starting to get enough of a number of panthers that it's going to be problematic. He's getting enough panthers that if one of them dies, there is going to be a bit of a group stun. However, they aren't actually being attacked right now. They are just getting rid of these lotuses. Just holding back El Torero's advance a little bit. But at the same time, El Torero coming in here with a couple scorchers. Coming along the southwest side, and that's going to be problematic. I say that a lot, don't I? That is going to be death. Th the sponge is going to lose this entire southwest side once again. There is a reaper to try to deal with this. The panthers are coming down to actually deal with this pretty well. One of the scorchers is going to get caught out. Two of the scorchers is going to get caught out, actually. And this le this welder is not going to die. Another melee structure is going to die, though. And that, that scorcher actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Going to scout at everything else going on in the space. If he gets rid of... Oh, no. He got caught out. That was it. I was going to say, that Scorcher went around, got rid of the Caretaker. That would have been that would have been beautiful, actually. That would have been a really nice shot there. The Sponge would have started to just float more than he is already, actually. The Sponge is economically behind. He does have much less map control, as we can see. He has the southeast side of the map, and that's it. El Torero has everything else. However, Reaper coming in here to try to take back the northeast side of the map. Or at least try to stop the push, at any rate. Stem the bleeding, as it were. I mean, the sponge is not in a nice spot. He is consolidating into a losing position. And that is going to be problematic. Especially with these levelers coming in here. These levelers, they're going to have a bit of a hard time dealing with the Reaper. Mostly because it just tanks a lot of damage. The Panthers, however, taking advantage of the distraction. And a couple of the levelers are going down. A bunch of them going down. They aren't actually able to deal with their damage quickly enough. But now, one of the Panthers go down. And we see the group stun effects happening. And another panther goes down. Not quite enough for group stun, but still five levelers behind that. That was a lot of panthers down, but for the same number of levelers. Now, that being said, panthers are 300 metal and levelers are 240, so that was a little bit in El Torero's favor. Just a little bit, but still. Got rid of and heavily damaged these panthers. They are probably going to be repaired. They should be repaired. The thing about playing heavy tanks is you want to make sure your units are not going into battle without being fully repaired, if at all possible. And El Torero coming in here with a bunch of Scorchers and a bunch of Levelers. And the first few Scorchers are going to go down quickly, but after that, that was a nice attempt to dive, but that didn't quite work out. The Levelers, however, have to deal with the Reapers. The Reapers are tanking a ton of damage, and they are being very problematic. They are being a massive thorn in El Torero's side. Just not letting him get out of there. Now, at the same time, a Welder trying to get the Southwest side for the Sponge, but no luck. No dice. That has to die. It has been decreed, and so it shall happen. And has happened, actually. Now, these levelers are actually in a great position. One of the Reapers is going to go down. It's harder, though, not so much. But it itself, yeah, one of the Reapers goes down, and another Reaper going to go down. If it doesn't... No, it's, it's going to be fine. It doesn't have to pull back. It should be repaired, though. And that was kind of foolish that he lost that first Reaper. But, yeah. The Sponge even noticing his lack of expansion just cost him the game, and... That was GG, actually. GG'd in chat already. So that is game. Throwing in the towel, or at least very nearly. Gonna go for a last, one last ditch attack. Maybe win. Maybe, probably not. But maybe deal some damage. But yeah, I don't see this happening. Especially with the groups done the Panthers. Yes, be careful about that. And the most vulnerable Panther was in the center of that group. That is not good. You do not want the most vulnerable Panther to be the one that's gonna actually cause the stunning. But it is going to. It's in the center. Once it gets hit, that's it for this group of Panthers. That It's done. Nothing can be done about that. And the Sponge heals up one of the Reapers and heals up another Reaper, I think? I don't know. But yeah, it's... Kinda done. 
And I mean, El Torero has been expanding down from the northeast side. He's just been... Well, it's just a, soft, it's a hard push with all these defense... Lotuses, mostly. Some defenders, but mostly Lotuses. Yeah, that... That's it. And the west side is all his. The northwest side, of course, has been his the entire game. No fact switches, by the way. Neither player has actually decided to go for another factory. Not surprising for the sponge, but a bit surprising for El Torero that he's not just gone for, say, some phoenixes to just burn out all his units. Or a few ravens to take care of the reapers directly, because the reapers are the main thorn on his side. That's the main reason he can't attack right now. And even then, I think he actually probably could. No, maybe not. No, these reapers are still a bit of a problem. The sponge is actually starting to take... Well, he's not going down quietly, that's for sure. But I think this is going to be it. El Torero is... You now, if he comes in, if he attacks with everything, he is going for a nice flank with these levelers, and the levelers are going to be able to deal with this Reaper, no problem. If they all came together, that's the only thing. Two levelers? No. Five levelers? Yes. Okay, now he's hitting the rest of the levelers, and that Reaper has to retreat. Welder tanking that, getting in the way. And the Panthers are doing a nice job against the Scorchers. I mean, this many Panthers against Scorchers, bit of a problem. Against levelers, the levelers will win, but against Scorchers, it... Well, it's kind of tough. The Panthers would probably... Okay, against this many Scorchers, the Panthers will lose. But against just a few, yeah, they'd win. However, El Torero is not even focused on that. He is going very slowly in, just pincering the sponge. I mean, the sponge knows he doesn't have much of a chance to win. And El Torero is just making sure he doesn't throw it in. He wants to not... He doesn't want to just go too far and then lose everything because he gave the sponge an opening. And that's good. However, he is coming in here, and the Scorch is coming in. The Scorches are going to be able to take care of the Reapers if, they, if the dive works, but they are getting too close to dive. The sponge has to move his commander back, losing quite a few Panthers, but the Panthers group stun is actually taking out some quite a few of those Scorchers. But the sponge, his commander is going to go down, and down it goes, taking out a bunch of the Scorchers as well, and another Panther, causing another group stun explosion. But these Reapers have no repair. They have no support. These Scorchers are taking them down. The Panthers coming here. From the back, the Panthers are going to be able to take care of most of these Scorchers, but even then, that's a lot of damage. However, the Commander going down, pretty big. El Toro has three times economic advantage. He does have a military disadvantage. Worth pointing out, his military is not very strong. Well, okay, not relatively as strong for cost as the Sponge, but it's much more mobile. He has a lot more in the way of defenses. It's not easy for the Sponge to get out of this. It's possible, though. I'm pretty sure he could actually get around with Panthers, just break out... All these Lotus... Oh, maybe not this one over here. Reapers would do fine here, but he needs the Reapers to deal with the Scorchers and the Panthers as well. It's just... He has to worry about getting attacked. That's the big thing. El Torero is pumping out so many units. Switching over to Ravagers now, but El Torero is pumping out so many units that the Sponge can't just easily go and deal with this. Can't break through this contain. Because if he tries to do that, if he attacks any of the sides, the center gets vulnerable. If he attacks... If he stays in the center, the sides get pushed in. He is starting to try to take the northeast side, but... Even then, I don't know. The Panther's coming in to try to get rid of El Toro's commander, but El Toro just jumps that way. And no harm comes to it. However, the Reapers have to deal with this leveler set, and like I said, the levelers, they actually do have the advantage of being able to move away from this, and the Scorch is coming in to get rid of that Reaper. This Reaper's going to go down. No chance for it. It's gone. Or, no, not quite. Does barely survive as the Panther support does fix that up. But at the same time, we do have... A massive Ravager force coming in here, getting rid of the Panthers. Panthers do not move fast enough to get rid of the Ravagers, and they do not stun the Ravagers quickly enough to avoid getting hit. And the Scorch is going to get rid of one of these Reapers. One of the Reapers goes down, and that's it. The Sponge knows for sure he has no chance, and throws in the towel. That is game. Oh. Okay. That is going to be it for me. So, thank you all for watching, and hope you enjoyed that. And have a good night, everybody.